right, guys, we're gonna go over how to use the RV. First of all, this is your jack right here. It's electric, there's an up and down button, and then this button's also just a light for at night if you're using it. You have your two propane tanks right here. This just lifts off, and then underneath there are your two propane tanks. There's a valve that'll point to whichever tank you're using. And then just so you know where it's at, the battery box is located here with the battery right behind the propane tanks. We're gonna come around. Oh, one other thing, hopefully you don't ever need it, but there's a spare tire located right here as well, uh, up in the front. Um, there is a, a large storage area. This is where you're going to find your gear, like your sewer hose, the power cord, all that kind of stuff. Um, every corner has a stabilizer jack, and in here is a little hand crank. You just crank these guys down, and they just touch the ground, and they help stabilize the RV. They're not leveling jacks or anything like that. They just make it less wobbly, so when you walk inside, it doesn't wobble on you. There's a large awning on this. Just make sure you guys uh, don't leave this out in the in the wind or in a storm or even at night when you go to bed, make sure you close it up. Uh, if it's a large awning, it could be like a big kite. If the wind comes, you don't want to rip it off or anything. So just close this up when you're not using it. Um, the steps are pretty simple to use. They're just manual steps. You just reach down, hold them up, flip them down just like that. And then you're good to go. The handrail, you just lift up and twist like that. And then you can head inside the RV. Uh, this is an exhaust right here. This can get extremely warm, so don't put any gear or any tents or anything up against this. You don't want to melt anything there. Uh, you have a couple outlets. Just remember, none of the outlets or major appliances will work unless you have a generator running or you're plugged in at the RV park. This unit is really nice. It has a large outdoor kitchen area. It's just right in here. You just lift it up and it's magnetic. There's a little prep area and stuff, a little refrigerator. Um, just make sure um, you take your stuff out of that when you're done using it. Um, and also, once again, this isn't going to run. It doesn't run off gas, it runs off electric. So you probably can't use this refrigerator unless you're plugged in at an RV park. So just remember when you're backing up, hopefully you have a spotter behind you to help you out. Um, this is another uh, exhaust vent here. Just make sure you don't lean any gear against this. Uh, this also gets hot, so you don't want to uh, melt anything in like any tents or anything. Now on this side, right here on the corner, this is your power plug. You're just going to lift this up and this is what's going to plug in to the generator or at the RV park. There's a big extension cord that's up in the front compartment. It just plugs in here and then, and then plugs in. Underneath there are two pull valves. One is the gray water and black water. So the gray handle is for the gray water and the black handle is for the black water. Make sure when you're dumping, you pull the black handle first, let it drain out, then you'll close it, and then you'll pull the gray water, and that'll kind of clean out that hose, and then, and then hopefully you can spray it out with some clean water as well. If you are at an RV park, you can hook into park water. You just hook the garden hose up, plug it in right here, and then you'll have a pressurized system. You don't need the pump on or anything like that. It just works through the city water pressure. Lastly, this one right here with the cap, this is for your water tank. All you do is you unscrew the cap, you're gonna take your garden hose, you're gonna fill it up. This is for more like if you're dry camping and you're not hooked in at an RV park room. You're gonna fill that up, there's a gauge inside it that can tell you how much water you have and you can, you can check that while you're out on your trip. This is the slide out. It comes out about four feet, so make sure when you're sending the slide out, out you're, you're, um, you're looking for anybody out here. You don't want to slide it out into somebody or there's not a tree here or another vehicle or anything like that. Uh, we recommend you, ha you have a spotter when you go ahead and send this out um, and just be careful when operating the slide. And then lastly, this is your storage compartment. It's the pass-through on the other side. So this is, you guys can put your gear in here and all that kind of stuff. It's got plenty of room for all your fun stuff while you're camping. And uh, let's go on inside and take a look on the inside. All right, guys, we're going to go on and show you how to use everything inside the RV. So right here is, is a, a main panel. You have your living room lights. This is just this main light right above the door. You have the step entry lights and you have awning lights. You also have the slide extender. Uh, you have the in and out to send out that slide and also the awning in and out. Um, we also have a nice bedroom up front. Um, it's just right in here. It has plenty of room for you. Um, there are on each side of the bed uh, additional outlets for USB charging and things like that. This, this RV also has a great entertainment system. Uh, you have your television up front and then you have a stereo system with some additional USB charging ports. So hopefully you'll have plenty of uh, places to charge uh, your devices. Hopefully you're not using them when you're on your trip, but hey, some people need uh, internet access. So 
Um, you have a large slide out here. Just make sure you slide, when you slide this out, you make sure no, nobody's on the outside or there's not a tree or anything like we discussed before. Um, and then this actually converts into a great sleeping area. To make it a sleeping area, you just lift up the tabletop. You're gonna remove these two poles and then you're gonna put the tabletop back down right on this groove area. And then once that's set down, you're gonna take some additional cushions and uh, put those on top and it makes a soft sleeping area. Uh, you have some lighting switches. This button right here is for your accent lighting. And then to run the dinette light, um, there's a button right above it right here. Push it on and off to get the dinette light. Also, if it's cold out and you want to run the heater, it operates right off of this. To turn it on, you're going to switch this switch over. Just remember, take a little bit of pressure. It does take some to move it over. And then underneath is how you control the actual temperature. And then to turn it off, you click it back over. Um, right above is the air conditioning unit and also the fan unit. Uh, it's got multiple uh, levels. You can switch it to like high cold or just a fan mode, but all of that operates here. And then we also have a nice microwave. Just remember the major appliances, the air conditioner, the microwave, the television, any, even the outlets. If you're, if you're wanting to use those items, you must be plugged in at a park with park power or running a generator. Otherwise they're not going to come on. Uh, you have your stove tops here and you also have a oven here. These both operate off of gas. And then we have a refrigerator and to operate the refrigerator, you open this up and there's two buttons. The one on the left is to turn it on and off. And the one on the right is for gas or auto mode. If you are going to an RV park with park power, you're going to run it on auto. If you're going camping, dry camping, you're going to run it on the gas mode. The gas mode is where the button is out. Uh, just remember to leave yourself about four to six hours of time to let this cool down before you leave. Um, how these work is they freeze the freezer box first, then use the cold air from the freezer to cool the fridge. Um, there are plenty of sleeping areas in this RV. You have a couple of really nice bunks right there. And then in here is the restroom. Inside of the restroom, there are the gauge levels right here behind the toilet area. Uh, these are going to show you your, your fresh water level, your gray water, your black water, and even your battery levels. And then underneath also is a water heater button. To turn on the water heater, you'll just turn that on. Uh, it takes about five to 10 minutes heat water, and then we recommend about five to 10 minutes between showers. All right, um, hopefully this was a good orientation for you. And if you have additional questions when you come to pick it up, we can go over those. We'll see you soon.